Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josi. Today I would like to do a test with the Tiberius T8.1 using uh, 12 gram CO2, as so you can see 12 gram CO2, and uh, I'll be shooting it at high velocity. So I'm actually adjusting the velocity to uh, higher than usual to see how the gun perform. And please do not do what I'm doing at home because it's kind of dangerous and also the uh, manual on the Tiberius do not suggest people go over 300 FPS and also it's unsafe to play paintball with that kind of velocity as well. So um, here I'm just doing it for the purpose of uh, testing the gun out on video to share with you guys and uh, yeah so probably after the video I'll tune it down so it's really loud with that kind of velocity and you don't get a lot of shots per 12 gram CO2 so there's some like some downside to the uh, gun with that kind of velocity but yeah you see the gun is designed to perform best at about 270 to 280 FPS so that's pretty high too so here I'll be using 0 0.68 cal uh, caliber rubber balls and I actually looped the rubber balls with uh, silicone loop as well so right there you see we got a target setup and uh, with this high power right here the sound is super loud and also the um, the the impact it's very hard on my traps so <laughs> yesterday I was testing out I mean like yeah yesterday I was testing it out and um, I was using fabric and the rubber ball went through the fabric that is hanging freely so it was too scary so now I have one special trap set up for the crony and I'll be using the crony chronograph not the paintball chronograph with red LED light as you can see red so these lights are specially made for the uh, crony and they really work well and to chrono the Tiberius 8.1 will charge up a new CO2 so just to let you see it's new new CO2 gamma CO2 okay and just a note here that uh, to chrono the Tiberius 8.1 with that kind of power I need to move back about three feet away to uh, shoot the gun in order to work because the muscle blast is too crazy and the gun actually kicked very very hard like it's kind of tilted like the gun tilted up and uh, it's kind of dangerous if you don't have experience with shooting so yeah okay I loaded eight rounds into here and hopefully we'll count properly <laughs> okay so I'll put the gun I, I mean I'll put the mag inside the gun and uh, when I'm out there okay so now my pony is set up I'll zoom in to the chrono chronograph readings so that you can read the numbers as well and also of course you can uh, you can count how many shots I have shot okay I think that's good enough great okay so I'll say first shot and then I'll you know keep keep trying okay guys <laughs> let's go okay great no leaks <laughs> Good start. 368.1, number one. Number two. 350.3. Number three. 352.3. Four. Number four, three fifty eight point three. Number five. Wow. Three fifty eight point seven. Number seven. I mean, number six. Don't miscount. Three fifty seven point eight. Number seven. 354.6. Okay. Number eight. Last shot. 
Okay, 339.3. It's getting very low on the uh, on the last shot, and the steel tube is very cold. <laughs> so, yeah. I think the steel tube is running out too. So I'm on my eighth shot right now, and I'm gonna plug more uh, ammo inside, and also let the steel tube cool down a bit. It's getting very cold. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, I'm gonna put eight rounds in here, but I'm gonna give it a bit of rest. So, <laughs> just let it rest a bit. The steel tube is getting cold, and especially uh, after all the high power shots, you can see it's around 360, 350, and you don't get a lot of shots for steel tube, so that's the problem if, uh, if you shoot with high power. Eh? Oh, man. <laughs> and the sound is very loud, like super loud, I'm not joking. Okay, so let me go back. We'll count 10 seconds and I'll shoot again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, plug it in. We'll shoot again. Number one. Okay, back up to 353.4. Impressive, eh? Whoa, leaks. Okay, some leaks uh, going on. The regulator is leaking. 325. And 279, I'm out. Okay, nice, I'm out. I think it's uh, not a super good idea to shoot in that kind of high power. Okay guys, <laughs> back to the uh, screen here. Um, yeah, I realized my O-ring just leaked uh, during the last shot. So, you see the O-ring right here? Just leaked. So, not so reliable with uh, the high power. I need to unscrew. Oh crap, it actually busted the O-ring. <laughs> Oh no, it busted the O-ring. So yeah, it's not a good idea to uh, shoot in that kind of high power. Okay, as you can see, the O-ring here is busted. So, right. <laughs> not so good, eh? Um, I don't know if I can find an O-ring like that size, but surely the O-ring is gone and um, there's a need to replace the O-ring. <laughs> so yeah, not a good idea, eh? Um, well, yeah, I still got a lot of shots though. <laughs> I got eight shots out of it. Not a very good idea. So I tested the gun and it can operate um, up to that kind of pressure. And now let me just uh, tune it back down for the safety purpose. So this way, one, okay, two notch. Okay, now it should be back to the 300 FPS range. Okay, guys, so, <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, let's get the reading out uh, from the crony. Okay, reading. Low, uh, seven, uh, 279.6. High, uh, 358.7. And average of 343 uh, feet per second. So, right, um, the Tiberius uh, T8.1 can shoot uh, that high. And also, um, just a note here, it's not very safe to shoot that high, as you can see. Uh, during my test, I shot two sessions in this kind of power and the O-ring is uh, busted. So, <laughs> need to replace the O-ring. And uh, beside that, the gun actually functioned like really well. Um, and I think the problem is the O-ring is weak. Uh, so, that's one weak side of the Tiberian 8.1. But just testing the maximum, you know, you can see uh, the gun can be adjusted to shoot that high and actually let me show you the destruction power can i test it with my 
first session that I didn't tape down, uh, record down. This is the soup can. You can see the soup can one shot of 250 FPS goes right here and it dented the can halfway with rubber rounds. It almost broke the can so it's really 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 scary you see. So I think what you need is really like a better seal or better o-ring and I think that should fix the problem so I'll try to see if I have the o-ring that size and uh, fix it up but okay guys so you see <coughs> uh, <laughs> Tiberius 8.1 seal was busted <laughs> so remember guys do not set the FPS too high and it only give me like 10 shots and I'm done now I found the optimal uh, like the optimal setup for this thing right now um, I don't have an o-ring so I fixed it by using uh, Teflon tape okay what I did was I put the um, broken o-ring it's just for temporary though <laughs> okay just uh, I want to like see if I can fix it right on the spot so I wrapped this screw with Teflon tape with the old o-ring around on the end and then I basically it's like a very beefy Teflon uh, screw and then I just uh, wrap around it with, uh, with with Teflon tape so it's very bulked up and then the end, okay, you got the Teflon tape wrapped around the O-ring and push it all the way back and then you screw it back to the normal position. So now the Teflon tape should be able to seal all the uh, air. And I just did a chrono session. My um, low was 314.5, high is two, uh, 328.4 and a standard uh, average of uh, 319.1. And so that's pretty good. Um, I turn it like one, one or two full circles to the minus side for the uh, velocity adjuster, and that should be the best setting for me, for a uh, target shooting guy. Cause I like high FPS, but I don't want to like blow very loud sound, and I don't want to blow old rings and stuff like that. So the 350, 360 is very fun, but it lasts only a very short time, and the old ring is busted and um, the problem is the seal is not strong enough or maybe they did it on purpose for the safety reason but um, the kick is really really like shocking and the sound is very shocking so if you shoot 360 fps with this gun you're going to scare people like really badly next door so right now i have a new seal too i'll charge it up and shoot some rubber balls with, and do a 10 shot string of you guys just to test it out as you can see we got the red lamp here the red LED so it's going to work under low light as well and here's my magazine so just make sure the Teflon tape tricks work in case anyone have their Tiberius arm uh, 8.1 9.1 broken on the field and you need to fix it okay uh, Teflon tape works and rubber balls so I'll load eight rounds. I just shot one CO2 and no leaks. Uh, one CO2 will last two mags full with this kind of FPS setting. So you can stay around like 318, 320-ish FPS. And the sound is acceptable. It's like an air gun sound. So it's not too scary. But you know the the um, the other one is really too too scary. So way too scary. Anyway, so. Let's check it out. Pop in the mag. No leaks. Okay. No leaks. Fine. I'm good. Now let me move back to whatever distance and zoom up with the chronograph so you can see it. Okay, there we go. Great, you can see it. Okay. Now I move back three feet to shoot it. Try one. The sound is acceptable. Uh, 313, not bad. 316.6, number 3. 316.6 again. 317.7, 5. 313.5. loud one 316.8 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 316.9 
Seven. Three sixteen point six. Very stable with my mod. Actually, you bet. Three eighteen point one. I'm out. Lock the gun. Poop. And okay, so a little bit of steel to drop, and I'll reload with eight rounds. So hi. <laughs> so you can see me here, reloading. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight. Okay, if you shoot slower, it's going to last longer. But I'm just trying to shoot at normal pace, okay? So plug the mag in again. Again, no leaks. No leaks. Good. One. 317. Right on. Two. I like the sound. 320. Three. Three. What? Sixteen point seven. Four. Three sixteen point five. Three sixteen point five. Six. Three nineteen point three. Seven. Three twenty one point three. Last shot. Three twenty seven point six. I think I'm out. Maybe, or maybe not. Let me shoot a few shots. Okay, so four shots and I'm out. Okay, four shots. So two mags and four shots. You can expect the four shot is garbage, so you don't use it. <laughs> so two mags full and four shots to ensure that you have enough gas for the last, like the second mag. Okay. That is, uh, <clears throat> Oh, just a second. Let's see this, uh, the number. Take the numbers. So, in our shot string, a low of 316.5, high 327.6, average 319 FPS. And with a deviation of, wow, 11.7 FPS. So, that's really good. A good, uh, consistent FPS range. Ooh. Exciting. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is exciting. The Tiberius 8.1 busted the seal on the same day, and I fixed the seal on the same day. Wow. Okay, so thanks to my uh, air guns and airsoft background, or else I'd be like freaking out. So, the main thing with why the um, gun cannot handle the higher FPS could be because of the prevention they did by putting on weaker seals and so that ensure if whatever goes above that kind of pressure then uh, it will pop and prevent the gun from shooting too hot. So I find that the best highest FPS is to go around uh, three below 320 and not anywhere be above that. If you shoot above 320 it's going to be way too loud like really way too loud destruction power is fun but it's really way too loud so <laughs> see at the end we don't have any more steel to left and it's very steel to efficient so you can expect two magazines of shots and let me tell you that any anything shooting like at about 320 ish fps if uh, you shoot rubber balls which is uh, like they're heavier than normal paintball if you shoot rubber balls <laughs> with that kind of fps it's going to be like really, really, really painful if you shoot your friend. So don't shoot people with rubber balls at that kind of speed. Usually for paintball games, they tune it like for indoor, they tune to 240 and then outdoor, they go like maximum is 300, maximum. And they're shooting paintball. Paintballs, they're 3.1 grams each. And like around that, 3.1, 3.2 grams each. The first strike round is also about that uh, 3.1, 3.2 grams. Rubber balls, there's about 3.9 to 4 grams each. And that is like a lot of uh, big difference in weight. And so, <laughs> you can expect that it's going to be very, very, very painful if you like shoot people with high FPS and using rubber rounds. So do not do that and always treat 
uh, the gun as a firearm with proper gun safety. It's not a toy, it's said on here. It's not a toy. I want you to read it. It's not a toy. So please treat with care. And also you can observe how I seal uh, with Teflon tape right here. See, it's this thing. So yeah, guys. Um, and always check your gun to see if anything is loosened up. With the high FPS, uh, the 360 FPS on my first shooting, this screw even popped out, and it's really scary. So I don't, I don't feel safe shooting at that kind of FPS myself. But just for the sake of fun, you know, um, I did it once and see the power. So <laughs> 360, you got like about what 24 joules of energy, and you're like punching soup cans like that. Wow, that's really scary. But you know, you get the idea. So thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and like, and always remember to shoot safe. Paintball is a sport, it's meant for a safe gameplay and not for you to hurt people. So yeah, people who are thinking of, you know, how do I like use paintball uh, to defend myself and do home defense and stuff, well those are not really stuff that you should be thinking of because uh, it's not so safe. And uh, if the gun is used against you, it's not so good. So think of better options. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.